Hey guys, I'm the Burke, and I do things, and I got crazy hair today, I know. And if you are really wondering why I have a lot of blue going on under my eyes, you'll have to check out my makeup inventory roulette video because it was so much fun to film. But today's video is inspired by Andrea Matalano's channel. She recently did a video where she talked about her various favorites that are best sellers at Ulta and she went through a bunch of different categories. I really like that idea and I sort of took inspiration from it, but instead what I did was I listed all of the makeup by best selling and what I did was I went through all the best selling makeup and I picked what I think are my top 10 favorites that I would definitely go out and repurchase from that best selling list. So I have them in front of me. And I will say that I feel like most of these you can get on sale, which is pretty awesome. So we can talk about that too and all the other stuff that we want to talk about today. So super descriptive. If you want to keep watching this fantastic video, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so as I scrolled through the best-selling makeup at Ulta, the first one that caught my attention is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I wear the shade medium brown and I feel like this is not super surprising that it's a bestseller. It's sort of one of the OG brow pencils out there. Definitely this product is the brow pencil that I have bought consistently for the longest time. This retails for $23, which I recall this used to be $21. So the price has gone up by $2 a pencil. But something really great about this and something great about Ulta in general, not only do they have a great reward system, but they always have the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, both in the spring and the fall. I assume the spring sale is coming up very soon. Very soon, I assume. Typically in one of those two sales, they do mark this half price. So that is when I like to pick some of these up. And I also know that Anastasia has little kits now. At least they did over the holiday season where you could like bundle a bunch of her products together, including the brow pencil. So brow is probably will always be something I have in my collection. The next product is a product from Benefit. I only have like a little sample size of it, but it is the Roller Lash Mascara. It is the mascara that I have absolutely loved for the longest period. Something about this wand just works super easily for my lashes. It has sort of been outshined by the Thrive Cosmetics, the Lash Extensions Mascara, but it still is so good. Now this size is actually a size that I got as a free sample from Ulta. The full size of this product is $25. It once was 24, again, the price went up, but you can even get the size, it's a little bit bigger than this, and that's their like travel size, and I believe that one retails for $13. And something about the Ultra 21 Days of Beauty sales, in the past they've had like special like mini deals, and that's when I like to pick up the roller lashes when I can get a really good deal on the minis, because I feel like the minis have more than enough product, I feel like I get a really good value out of them. So I like to stock up on my Benefit Roller Lash minis rather than spending $25 on the full size. And that's just another great way to save some money. My third favorite from the best-selling makeup at Ulta was surprising that it's already best-selling, but I guess people are very excited to see Laura Mercier at Ulta. The translucent setting powder was on that list. A full size of it does cost $39, which is honestly one of the reasons why it coming to Ulta was such a big deal because of being able to actually get a good deal on points versus version of points you would get at Sephora. I will say I have this mini. This is 3.9 grams of product. I do not believe that they sell the travel size at Ulta, but something tells me that now that Laura Mercier is at Ulta, I wouldn't be surprised to see it show up in one of the 21 Days of Beauty sale this year. So definitely keep an eye out for that because those sales typically have kind of the best sellers in them, things that are cult products, things that people have been buying for a while. They usually don't put the brand new stuff in those sales, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Laura Mercier popping up sometime soon on sale. The third best seller that I absolutely love is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I am not like the biggest fan of Morphe. There are definitely a few products that I think are genuinely good products from them, but this one, something about this mist is just absolutely magical, I will say. Kathleen Lights spraying the Fenty spray all the time lately has made me question if I need that in my life, but the mist on this is just absolutely magical. This retails for $16. It's one of the more affordable products as far as the best sellers go. I will say it seems like when you sort by best sellers at Ulta, you kind of get more of the, the high-end stuff. 
but Morphe was definitely one of the more affordable brands I saw as the best sellers. I'm not surprised to see why because I feel like even if you're not somebody who's really down with the giant Morphe eyeshadow palettes, like this, this is still a really, really nice product. Okay, next we have a foundation. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. I do have this in two shades. I have it in fair and medium. This retails for $39.50, which is on the higher end as far as foundation goes. In this product, you get one fluid ounce, which is a standard uh, foundation size. I did get both of these in Ipsy. This one came in the Ipsy. This one I did as an add-on. I love this product. And I know in the fall 21 days of beauty sale, they had this marked as half price as one of the deals. So again, best sellers typically wind up in those sales. This foundation, I am not crazy about the CC cream. I have it, I'm trying to work through it and get, get through it. But there's something about this product that is like a tinted moisturizer, but it gives me so much coverage, which is what I would, which is why I tend to steer away from tin, tinted moisturizers because I feel like I have to do so much over them, especially with a lot of my breakouts that I get. So this is the only tinted moisturizer that I ever have used that actually like gives me the coverage I'm looking for. I really enjoy it. It does have SPF of 50 in it, which you really shouldn't rely on your foundation to see if you have SPF, but it's a nice addition to the product. Okay, the next product is from Urban Decay and it is their 24-7 Glide On Pencils. I just tried to grab a few. I might have more than this, but these do retail for $22 a piece, which is expensive, but I feel like the amount of time it goes to go through a pencil eyeliner is forever. And even these I got as minis and they are not even done. So let me do quick swatches. So this is the shade Zero. And this is the shade Perversion, which is supposed to be like their super matte black. So you can probably see a very slight difference. Zero is in my shop, my stash, and so is this shade, which is Starfire. Again, I don't know if these exact shades are available. Sometimes they make limited edition shades, but they always kind of are. They're always, I feel like, are very similar shades around. This shade is called Voodoo. They just, they have really good pigmentation and it doesn't require a lot of, you know, pressure or going back and forth on the waterline, which is something I appreciate. And this last shade I have is called Stardust, but those are just a couple shades that I own and the quality of these are fantastic. I would definitely say these are my favorite eyeliners that I own and I would definitely be willing to try more. And I wouldn't be surprised if these are at some point on sale this year or in some sort of a bundle the set that I got a bunch of minis in was a holiday set. They love throwing in their 24-7 pencils as little giveaways. Also, I'm fairly sure certain perversion here. I did get as a free sample at Ulta, so you can get it for free sometimes too. My number seven favorite from the best selling makeup at Ulta is the Precisely My Brow. Now, another brow pencil I know. This one retails for $24, so it is a dollar more than the brow is. But something about this formula, it's the brow pencil I'm actually wearing today. It just wears better. It, I feel like it's a little easier for me to apply into my brows than the brow is. But again, it's that $24 price tag. So I don't wanna always pay that much. And this was for, I think this was discounted in the fall sale. So I did grab a backup in the fall sale. Again, they're just good brow pencils. Even though there are really good ones at the that are at the drugstore level, I feel like these, this one and the ABH Brow Wiz have a better longevity when it comes to wearability. I just love them. I don't know what else to say, but you definitely can get them on sale at least once a year. My number eight favorite bestseller is the Urban Decay All Nighter, and I love this stuff. When I was doing my inventory, I realized how many backups of this I really do have, and it's because Ulta, again, likes to give these away for free in this little size. And you know what's great about this size is it's great for travel and you can open it up and refill it, which is just so convenient, which is why I kept this one and did not get rid of it. But again, this is another one of those products where you can get it on sale. Urban Decay likes to put it in little like sets of their best sellers. You can always get a pretty good deal on All Nighter, so I wouldn't go out and pay the full $33 for it ever. But like when it comes to setting sprays, like Urban Decay is sort of like my my end all be all and I always kind of compare like if it costs more than Urban Decay but it's not as good why would I buy it like this sort of is like my holy grail here my number nine favorite bestseller is the Bare Minerals Matte Powder Foundation so this retails for $32 which is expensive you do get six grams in this product but but 
This is one of those cold products. Again, sometimes I do see it in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, but this is for sale at Marshalls and TJ Maxx all the time. I paid $8 for this. So again, if it is something you want, you definitely can find this on sale. I would not pay that $32 price tag for it. So I highly recommend this and think it's great. It's one of the very few powder foundations I enjoy. Okay, my last favorite bestseller actually is a makeup sponge. When I was sorting through the bestsellers, they were throwing in different makeup tools in there too. And I thought, you know what? How can I not talk about it? It was a duo of the Real Techniques sponges. I really like these a lot. I was shocked that I could find two that are cleaned. I will say a duo of these cost $10, which is the same as the e.l.f. sponges I love. But they always have sets of these at TJ Maxx and Marshalls which is where I like to pick them up at because you can get them even at a better price. I will say on all sponges, these are sort of on the difficult side when it comes to cleaning. Like you can see like I have, these are two clean sponges and you can still kind of see a little bit of staining. I will say that they definitely do hold a stain, but the actual the quality of these is the reason why I started exploring the drugstore makeup sponge realm a lot more because before these, I was a beauty blender babe. Let's just put it that way. And these made me open my open my heart to the world of more affordable makeup sponges. So these hold a very special place in my heart. Those were my top 10 favorite bestsellers from Ulta. And like I said, you can always get a really good deal on these products. I was thinking of doing a similar video, but with the top rated beauty products at Ulta. If you would like to see my favorites from the top rated, let me know in the comments. And definitely let me know what some of your favorites are from Ulta down there. And yeah, that's it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.